Well, Coach, talk about the uh, exhibition victory and the, mm -hmm. uh, the first series against Niagara. Yeah, it was great to get uh, to get an exhibition game under our belt, especially against such a good team. Uh, Mankato was definitely a, a fast game. We had uh, Coach Peter Aubrey, who's in his first year with us, just kind of turn to me during the game and go, "Wow, this is this is high tempo, high paced, and doesn't doesn't look like two teams that are just playing their first game." So, again, really good to have a good quality opponent there to get some good feedback on the game, and uh, definitely got some good stuff to work on, um, some things to continue to do well. And uh, that should help us prepare here for uh, for a tough opponent against Niagara here to start the season. What was the biggest surprise from the exhibition? You said there was some good feedback to work on. What what surprised you? Yeah, again, I think just just how how good uh, you know Mankato looked and and just how high a tempo the game was. And again, it looked like uh, like there's a lot of plays being connected out there. Definitely kept you on your toes and forced our guys to make sure they're adapting good. So that's what we want as a coach. You want some good video to review and and show guys things they're doing well, but then also show things we got to get better at. And so definitely found a few things that we got to keep improving at. Uh, in order for us to be successful. And when you have that kind of live feedback, I think it's really valuable for your players. So um, definitely things we had to focus on for this week to continue to, to grow at. Last week, you said you were kind of figuring out those lines still. Do you feel like last week kind of helped answer some of those questions? I think so. We played everybody. So again, it's a little bit less flow to the game when you're playing five lines and more players than you would normally play in a game. But I think it's also important to give everybody that opportunity to, to get a taste of college hockey and to get some experience. and. And now we're trying to keep our lines a little bit the same right now for this week to get a little chemistry here going at the weekend here when we're, we're playing for real. So uh, the lines have been together for a couple weeks now here. So hopefully there's some good energy and chemistry amongst, the, amongst themselves here to, to head into the weekend here for the games. One of the bright spots, the goaltending coach. Just talk about that. Yeah, both goaltenders were excellent. I think just from an individual standpoint, it's always nice to see um, both goalies, you know, play so well, and they, they should gain a lot of confidence here heading into non-conference play. So I thought both guys were extremely well, played extremely well, and uh, they've been working extremely hard here with uh, with the team and Coach Aubrey. So it's nice to see those guys uh, have a good start to the exhibition game, and uh, that should carry over here to this weekend. Concern about getting out shot thirty eight to thirteen. Yeah, a little bit. I mean you watch the video back again, I thought we thought we did really well at the start and they got a couple of power plays and they kinda of settled in a little bit there. Um, again when you do kind of chances for chances again, it wasn't that lopsided for chances, quality chances there, but uh but again, some things to work on. I thought we needed some more sustained ozone time than we had. I thought we were one and done a little bit there, so something we're working on there. And then I thought they did a really good job pinching their defensemen down. It was tough on our wingers to exit the zone, which led to some more sustained time for them. So again, that's what you want, right? You want things that uh, that you need to improve at. And, and uh, it's nice when you can watch the video back and, and help teach and coach and help these guys get better at that. So um, again, I thought uh, credit to Mankato. I thought they, they played well too. So it was perfect, perfect exhibition game. Last week, Sullivan kind of talked about how important that last series last year against Niagara was. Has that been a motivator this year? Has that been a message you guys are reflecting on the last year and just knowing how important this series against Niagara is? Yeah, again, I think our guys are smart guys and they're they're well adversed on what's going on not only last year but also currently this year. If you look around the the country, there some teams started their season last weekend and lots of upsets, right? Lots of uh, St. Cloud getting beat and uh, you know one goal game, Penn State being in a one goal game with Long Island, and so it's not a you know with the transfer portal now, right? I think the the top teams get stronger; they can reload very quickly, but also the the, the you know maybe traditional bottom teams also add a lot of quality players to their roster too. So just watching Niagara on video, to me, they're much improved from last year. Uh, when you watch them on video, they've, they've added some good pieces there and they'll be a tough opponent. So I don't think anybody's taking these games for granted and, uh, and know we've got to do everything in our power to prepare. And, and that's what we're committed to do right now to make sure that we're bringing our best effort uh, uh, come Friday and Saturday night. I know it's been asked before, but um, how do you feel about starting the, the college hockey season so early? You know, you know, there, there are some out there that would, would like to maybe start it later and yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe end the season in April. Uh, so just going up against high school football, college football, all that stuff for you guys. What, what, where do you stand on that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm, I, I'm anxious to get playing. I'm anxious to get playing. But I think if they did that and they pushed our – our time with our players back. I think it could be appropriate to start later. Um, I don't think we need to go through uh, 
you know, a six or seven week kind of just limited hours with our guys. I think that's almost too much time to not play and they're just practicing with each other. So I would, if we we're going to do that, I almost would see their continue maybe their summer training a little bit longer and then start us with them a little bit later there because you can tell the guys are anxious to play. You know, when you, you, when you play a physical sport like hockey and you practice against each other for so long, you're eventually chomping to, to face an opponent rather than a team. And it's tough to practice certain things too. Um, because of the competitive nature, probably a little bit similar like football at times too, right? You know, you can only do so many um, scrimmages and then you want to hit somebody else. So so I think if uh, they were going to do that, I think, uh, you know, to push maybe back the start of our coaching time with them, that would be fine. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm always excited to start the season too. So, uh, uh, but I hear, you know, I hear what you're saying for sure. Yeah. Are there any players definitely out this weekend, Coach? Yeah, with the two guys that were out for... Uh, uh, the exhibition game there was Slipic and uh, Noah Ellis, and I think Noah Ellis is is he getting better there. I think Slipic won't, won't be available for for the weekend there. So um, disappointing, but that's what happens. You know, injuries there and opportunity for other guys to to step up. And then we'll see how how Noah does. He did his first practice, I think, full yesterday there. So we'll see how he's feeling there come uh, come the weekend. What are you thinking with both goaltenders having solid performances in the exhibition? Are you thinking your rotation or? Going to play it by ear? Yeah, I don't want to give too much out, but uh, but uh, you know, I hopefully we'll get both goalies in this weekend here. Coach, the two uh, gentlemen from uh, Quebec, uh, the St. Lawrence Valley, uh, Joe LeMay and uh, Jacob Gabe, and uh, uh, Joe, I see a uh, hockey news top 100 of college hockey players, has his tenor Ludke. Uh, do you keep, keep the them apart to try and help other defense pairs yeah. or sometimes they look good together like we saw last year. How, yeah. how do you factor those two guys to really skate? Yeah, that's a great question, Terry. I think just, you know, we, depending if we're going to go 12 and 7, 7D seven men, then they'll naturally get a, you know, maybe get to go together a little bit but be separate as well if we go with the 7D man rotation. But uh, I think there's some pros and cons. I mean, obviously together they're both very offensive and puck moving ability and have that ability to read off each other. But apart too, you're allowed to you know, maybe get a little bit of balance if you got one of them with a Nolan Krenz and you can allow maybe Joe to be a little more offensive, you know, when you got such a hard and uh, stable body back there with Krenz and or vice versa. So I think the the back end, especially with 7D, we're, you know, we'll see a few more combinations and see eventually if you find some chemistry there. But uh, um, so and I guess, guess that didn't answer your question completely, but uh, but I guess we'll kind of see just how the, the season rolls there. But uh, they definitely can be together and they definitely can be apart. Crimson, uh, he's just hard to play. You talk about in yeah. his game. He seems like he certainly had a, a good summer into the practices before the game. Yeah, he's he's been unbelievable. You know, I think he's just been he's just been taking steps every season that he's been here, and just so hard and reliable and consistent. And to me, he's you know exactly what you're getting kind of night in night out from from Nolan Crimson. So he's an anchor back there for us. He's a leader. Uh, you know, if you're if you're up a goal or you need a PK or you need a defensive situation handled, and he's also contributing offensively. So to me, he's he's one of our top defensemen for sure. One quick defense, other defenseman uh, question: Gr Griffin Ludke uh, yeah. also seems like it was quite an off season. He's really moved up that uh, into that top six challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Had a great summer there and and got some good experience last season. And now you can tell he's you know like other guys on our team. You can see Joel and May. You can see. Uh, Joel Amey's defending. He's more efficient with the puck. You can see uh, Jacob Gavin getting efficient, getting smart with his decisions, being calculated on his offensive risk. You can see Griffin Ludke take a step, you know, puck moving ability. He's always, I think, got some great points with the puck, but his defending's improving and, and growing. So it's been awesome to see those guys just continue to elevate their play and, and take strides. And, uh, you know, there'll be a big reason uh, why we're successful this season. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, Miller gets your goal uh, Saturday night. He's coming off a career year offensively. How would you assess where his game is at as you get ready to start the season? Yeah, great. I mean, he's a, he's another guy that practices like he plays. I think that's the sign of a true professional. If you look at the guys that have successful when they leave college and do well um, professionally, it's always the guys that are kind of the same thing. Like Mason Morelli comes to mind, just signed his NHL contract at 27 and and a huge contract. and. Uh, and he was the same day in and day out, day in and day out. So just over time, those guys have success, and Matt Miller's like that as well. He just he looks the same practice in, practice out, and and uh, he's got lots of juice, lots of energy. Sometimes we actually have to calm him down a little bit, you know, just to just to uh, just to hey, just you know, be poised, be let your let just just play because he's so good. But yeah, he's he's gonna have a big season for us, and uh, he just continues to to elevate his game as well.